what's up guys, welcome back to another Roblox video, and today I'm going to be playing Vehicle Simulator. Now, this game has changed over the past couple of days, and I'm sorry I haven't been obviously uploading for quite quite a while now, as I think streaming is a bit better than and also like getting in with the fans and also trying to speak to everyone as I possibly can. But yes, back to Vehicle Simulator, this has had a massive massive update and obviously you can see the car that I'm driving is the new uh, Koenigsegg Regera. I like it very much I haven't well I've only just started playing it uh, today and I can already see that there is a massive massive improvement of the game and also I just want to say I hope you like the new intro that I uh, have, have made it took me quite a while and I've had a lot of errors with it and also with like uh, trying to get the right music because of copyright reasons and all that and see which music I can use and all this malarkey. So hopefully when this video goes out I don't get copyright strikes. It's It's been a pain, but yeah. Anyway, let's get into the video and let's obviously test out all these cars. Now, as I did say, this is the Koenigsegg Regera. Yeah, so this car only has one gear. I don't know why it's saying it has more gears down here, but in the real life, this car only has one gear and it does over 200 miles an hour. Now that, <laughs> that is really, really, really quick. So this is one of the first cars that I think that they showcase uh, in the car meet type of thing they did on Twitter. But let's check out the, all the other cars because I know there's quite a few to get through. So we have the Mitsubishi, well, the Mercurini Evocation X is what they call it on this game. But this is the Mitsubishi Evo. So this car for the stat, well, for 800, I don't know, I don't know if that's a bit pricey for 800,000, but this car looks really nice. I wish the game made their own little badges and stuff like that, like other games do, because that's like adding little details which I like. Because um, there isn't really much details in these cars, it's just the chassis, the door handles and mirrors, and that's, and that's really, really about it. But I do like the exhaust on this car, and the way the, you know, the lights have obviously they've changed and stuff like that, because it actually suits the car. So let's test this car out, and the interior looks really, really nice. I like, I like this. I like that they have bucket seats as well, which obviously the Evo does. I like this car. It's not. I wouldn't say it's it's quick off the start without any upgrades. It's how fast it goes, stock. So it does about 220 miles an hour, which, to be honest, not that bad. I don't know if this would be, be the car for it, you know, obviously to go for for 800,000. Considering how much money, I think it's about 200,000 to get all the new mods and all the new, you know, basically the car maxed out. And you could probably buy the McLaren and get better speeds than probably what this would give you for a cheaper. Overall, the the styling of the car and you know, obviously the way that they've changed it, it is really nice. Now this is what I came across quite <laughs> quite weird. They've put the price for this car. 333,333 I don't know why I don't know if it was just a little funny thing that the developers did just have a little laugh but I don't know and it, it I like the uh, the killer claw I like the name of this car but let's obviously test this out and actually we'll see what it sounds like okay it's got a nice purr so the, the lights look like the noise when you put your foot down that sounds amazing and also, it's a, from stock, it's, a, it's about, I say, four to five miles an hour faster, and it's a lot cheaper. So that's what I'm saying. You gotta try and look at the cars, test the cars out, and see which one's cheaper, and work them out that way. It's what I do, and this is how I get the best cars for, you know, obviously the upgrade and the worth of money. As obviously you've seen on, I think, Driving Simulator, that, that, Obviously, the, uh, the Aston Martin Vulcan, sorry, is pretty much the same as the McLaren Senna, which I got very upset about because obviously I grinded up to 1.2 mil, and the Senna is about 800,000, uh, 800, I think. So let's go ahead and see the next car. And also, I do want to mention as well with my streams that they have been crashing lately, and I think I've fixed the problem. I'm not too sure. For a little heads up, if this video goes out before 
uh, I do my next stream. I just want to say, if it does cut off, I am very, very sorry. I've got no, like, I've, otherwise I have no idea what, what is happening. And, yeah. So, if you aren't subscribed already, I definitely recommend you subscribe. And also, hit that bell notification and leave a like on this video. Because it helps me and also pushes me further to make videos every single day. Now, I think the last car is this. The Hessen Mott, I don't know, W9. If I said that wrong, please don't get at me. I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't, I'm trying to look at the thought. I think it's a BMW. I'm not too sure, like the i3 something. I think it is because the way that it's shaped and lowered. But for 67,000, this looks really nice. I might buy this now, to be honest. It's very slippery. Very slippery. It goes through all those gears really quickly. Listen to those change really, really fast. I think this is a good car for 0 to 60. Oh. Dang it. So all I want to say is thank you so much for everyone that has been supporting me so far, especially in the streams. It means a lot and also people subscribing. And I hope I can keep posting up videos like this throughout the, you know, obviously the time being on YouTube. But if you are not subscribed, you will not get notified with my streams, which then you can even speak to me and probably get updated on when the next stream is. So without further ado, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.